Hello there, everyone. Welcome to another video. It is me, Desiree, and today we are trying on the Ipsy bag. I do have, of course, a lot of the other steps already done because I didn't get every step of makeup in this bag, but I am going to try on the rest of the products for you. So the first thing that was in here that I already put on was the Professional Primer from Benefit. Where has this been? I have tried this before in the past, but also... I wasn't wearing foundation back then either, so maybe I just didn't like need it or really understand it. This made my skin look so freaking smooth. Like it it smoothed everything out. Like I can imagine even really liking this without makeup on. I just really enjoyed this a lot and I was shocked because in the past I've never really cared for it. I've gotten samples like this before and given them away. Um so it does look it, it looks like a nude I don't know, can you see my little swatch I did right there? But it blends in, there's no color to it. It looks like there is, but there isn't. Don't overdo it, because it's going to pill everywhere, which is what I did this morning. I like squeezed it out, and I was like, ah! You don't need that much. You know, go easy with it, add more if you want, but start start with a little bit. And what I remember about this product is that it made my skin feel too smooth and soft, like it had a powder on it or something. And I never felt like the makeup looked that good on top of it, probably because one, I was overusing it and I wasn't wearing foundation or anything, but it goes into your skin super duper easily. And I loved, there's something tickling my face. I loved the effect this gave to my skin. I'm definitely going to continue using this. I, I was shocked at how much I love this because I have never really cared for it in the past. Um, the other thing that was in the bag, which I'm going to use now, is this brush from Farrah. It just looks like this. has, like, these little grooves here so you can kind of hold it. And it feels really, really soft. I'm gonna... I feel like I have brushes similar to this, but I'm gonna use it. I did get out my two little trusty brushes here just in case it doesn't work with the eyeshadow that came in this bag. But the eyeshadow that came in here is a single from The Bomb. Ah, oh, why am I so itchy right there? Um, and it's a shade from their Nude Beach palette. This is the shade... I don't know. It just says nude eyeshadow. Oh, it's called Bootylicious, and that is how it looks. Feels really good. That's a nice little swatch there. Uh, historically, I've never really cared for the Balm's eyeshadows. I just don't like the formula, but we are going to try it out today. I do have eyeshadow primer on. I used this one right here from Vizier. I decided not to use the concealer that I normally use. Just because of the formula of this, I feel it might stick better without product already on my lid. So I'm going to put this on with my finger and I'm going to try to blend it out with that brush. Oh, making a mess already. All right. I forgot I had swatched it on this finger and now I'm like trying to put it on and there's so much on. Let's take that brush and just kind of move it around. I'm not going to use any other eyeshadows. I was planning on just doing this one. So hopefully it works out. I was just going to look in here and see if there was a little mirror. I feel like I need a little mirror. I might have to grab one. Can you see? All right. A little bit more. This formula actually feels really nice. It feels... Um, I don't know. Like a other any other kind of like metallic eyeshadow. I don't know what it is about their palettes. I've actually never tried their singles. Um, maybe they're better, but the palette eyeshadows, I just don't like that much. There's something in my eye. Also, I need to grab my mirror. Give me one second. Okay, and I actually grabbed a bomb palette. I love this one a lot. The highlight and contour palette. Ooh, you know what? Now that I look up close, I really like this. I like the way it's looking kind of buffed out out here. And yeah, it's kind of taking on more of like a matte quality after having buffed it out. How interesting. So let's take a little bit more. You know what? I'm kind of liking this. If any of you have tried any of their single shadows, because I know they do sell singles and like a customizable palette on their website, I wonder if it's any better than the eyeshadow palettes that they have, because those ones I just don't really care for. But this one, I'm actually really liking this. And this brush is not too bad. It's kind of doing the job. How's that looking? Looking even? Um, sure. I'll stop right there and we'll see if I need to fix it a little bit later. Um, so that's nice. I actually really like that. Awesome. 
Um, the next thing in here that I'm going to use is this thing from Nomad. It's called Around the World, and it says something. Moonlight. And it, it's a highlighter. It says light infusion powder, buttery, super blendable, holographic illuminator, and duochrome glow, multidimensional, prismatic sapphire pearl finish. This is how it looks. I do already have highlighter on today because I find that these colors, for some reason, go on better when it's not straight on your skin. I feel like when they're, they're on top of a highlighter, they kind of look better. And I forgot to grab a highlight brush. Of course. Hold on. Okay. So I grabbed my little Real Techniques brush. Let me clean it off because I used it with the other highlighter this morning. <clears throat> Actually, let me swatch this. It kind of reminds me of... Ooh, that's really pretty. It kind of reminds me of that Kat Von D shade in her um, uh, uh, Alchemist palette. I have one from L'Oreal uh, uh, that looks very similar to this. I feel like I'm going to like this. Obviously, I'm going very, very light with it. I'm not trying to, like... Only because this kind of shade sometimes... I don't know what it is about, like, the undertone of this, but on my face, it kind of looks gray. I don't know why, but right now it's not looking great. I kind of like it. And I've actually, actually got another brush because I want to put this on my inner corner. I thought that would look kind of pretty. Or I thought it would. Let's see if it actually does. Ooh, I like it. The, I Oh my gosh, I like the shade a lot. But like I said, I already have a couple of shades just like this. I have one from L'Oreal. I have one from Rimmel. And I have the Kat Von D palette. And I use it all the time. So that's the inner corner. Can you see it a little bit? All right. Ooh, oh my gosh. I love this. <gasps> I love this shade so much. I think it looks so pretty mixed with this other eyeshadow that I have on. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. Yes. And then what else came in here? Oh, there was a mask. I forgot to use this this morning. It's for this Generation Clay. I actually got to move this. It's creating like a weird shadow. Um, Generation Clay Ultraviolet Brightening Purple Clay Mask. I haven't tried this yet. Um, I don't know what it is about this. The writing that's on here keeps rubbing off like it's not printed very well on here. Nothing wrong with that though. It's just the packaging. Um, it is sealed. I was going to kind of squirt out a little bit. Made in Australia. It just says Nourish Brightening Radiance Refine. Made with Davidson Plum. Um, yeah, I'm guessing it's just like another 10 minute clay mask. That's fine. Oh my gosh. I love this purple on the inner corner. Um, and then the last thing that came in this bag was this lipstick. I don't know if I'm going to put this on, but I will swatch it for you. It says, um, hashtag something, a frozen, just says frozen lipstick. And it's the shade runway red. Check out this lipstick. Okay. Plastic packaging. It looks gold on the top. Open it up and it's encased in gold, but it's red on the inside. And as I'm looking at it, like it looks super dry, but when I touch it, it actually looks very nice. <gasps> oh my gosh. You know what? It looks pretty. Let's swatch it. I wonder how the gold part. Oh my God. That is so pretty. Look. Oh my God. It smells like mint. That is so pretty. I was wondering how the gold was going to play with the pink or like the red. But it kind of mixes with it really, really nice. Ooh, I don't think I'm going to put this on, though. I'm not... Obvious, oh, this light. I'm sorry. Um, obviously, it's not... I'm not like a lipstick person. But uh, you know what? I think I'm going to experiment with the shade. And it smells really good. It smells like dental floss. Like minty dental floss. And I think that was everything that was in the Ipsy bag. I think I'm going to put some of this eyeshadow on the lower lash line. Grab some mascara and I will be right back. All right, so I did put on some mascara, my good old L'Oreal Unlimited that I cannot put down. I blended out the eyeshadow a little bit more. When I looked up close, it looked a little crazy. But this inner corner purple, oh my gosh, I love it so much. And I put some on the lower lash line as well with this eyeshadow single. I'm loving this little single. Obviously, I've only used it once, but I love it. Look what I did with my hand just now on my mascara. I glopped on way too much. Like, I was just layering it like crazy. So I got it, like, pinched it. I probably should have washed that off a second ago, but... You know what? It's real life here, people. Anyway, that was in my Ipsy bag. I am super happy with everything I got. I love the primer. I love that eyeshadow. I like the highlighter. I'm going to try the mask out, and I am going to experiment with this lipstick because it looks super pretty, and it smells really cool. 
I can see that on my lips. I can see it. I'm going to try it out. But anyway, that is that. Share with me, please, what you got in your Ipsy bag. If you also got this little tiny purple highlighter, let me know because holy moly, I love it. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for joining me with this video and I will see you in another one. Ooh, goodbye.